Hey darlings, I'm back. If you can't tell, this is not Jessica. This is her husband with another hubby dub. Today we are on day six of Pierre and Hart. Um, day six is Matthew 5, 6. Hunger and thirst for righteousness. Got some stickers. Um, got the brush. Got some stencils. And we're going to uh, get right to it. Um, got some distress oxide uh, and I got a plastic mat that I'm putting in the back to make sure that things don't get too messy we're gonna you know get the dioxide and start smearing the borders the edge of the page um, you know with a little brown giving it some a, a fall feel fall colors to the page making it nice and homey and warm um, we gotta make sure that we get all not all sides but at least three sides of the page um nice little blending going on with the brush uh, next step we are going to clean the brush with the electric bill envelope and um start taking the stencils putting some of these um leaf um prints on here and i am right now um outlining a section of the verse um what we're doing now we are doing more leaves adding more leaves to the page the the prints so now we have cutouts we have a house we have a windows with pumpkins give it you know the fall feels fall time so you know gotta go with the season Got some stickers, and we have the hunger and thirst um, cut out with Matthew 6 telling you about the verse that we're, you know, the page is about. So now we're cutting the borders on, leaving a little bit out. Don't want to cut it too, too close to the, to the window. Um, we're going to do, well, we're going to actually add some glue. Some blue glue, so, which means it's probably really good glue because it's blue. Um, adding it to the, the to the side of the page and um, doing a little bit more cutting, um, leaving it, you know, the little border, the white borders, um, giving it an outlining. Uh, taking a brush, adding some, you know, some colors to it. So I guess we're not going to leave it white. We're going to, you know, add some of the brown dot distress oxide and um now we are taking oh well, wait a second thinking we're thinking we're thinking oh, okay getting a different color distress oxide and we are taking stamps leaf stamps you know you gotta press it in there real good make sure we got the printout the the colors good now we're gonna stamp um with this with this stamp here on you know a couple times around the pages different angles giving it a feel like you know leaves are falling down from a tree and now we're going to take a different stamp add it to the stamp board nope we're going to take the small stamp and we're gonna add small leaves around the page, different angles, same thing, same thing we did with the last one, different angles, giving it, you know, a more natural feel of leaves falling down. Now, you know, we're taking our cutouts, angling it, making sure that, you know, trying to get a vision of what we're doing next. Um, now we're taking the, the oxide and add a little bit all oh, with the plastic it seems like you know had like a little water effect then we're splattering it all over the page giving it a, also a distress look to the page now you know when you add water paper you got to dry it up you can't do nothing else or it's going to ruin what you was doing before so we're drying the page make sure we get in there nice and dry real good before we go on to the next step now we're taking the house Taking the cutout, taking, well, broke apart the, the clip that we were going to use. And we're taking the fabric, 
getting a nice crease, you know, folding it up, creasing it up. You know, we didn't get it the way that we wanted to before. So, you know, we want to make sure we get it right for you guys. So we'll take our little stand stapler and we're stapling the fabric to our cutout. Um, you know, hunger and thirst. Now we have the back fabric. So, you know, we're trying to see what we're going to do. If we're going to use the whole piece, you may maybe add like a, a layer type of effect to it. Um, now we're taking, no, we're not going to use the whole fabric. What we're going to do, we're going to cut a piece, a nice little strip of it. And we're trying to see how we can lay out what we have and layer it on top. Okay, so yeah, we made a final decision. We're, we're gluing it and we're sticking it to the page. Nice and firm, make sure it doesn't move around. We'll take the fabric and then we're trying to figure out which way we wanna layer it or which way we wanna have it on the page. Um, cut out and then cut out on top of fabric so we're now we're gluing the fabric making sure it's good you know you don't want to have it with little pieces under you want to have the pieces out and now we're distressing our little cut out make to go with the theme you know we have distress oxide so we might as well distress the paper too you know now we're distressing it making it look a little a little raggedy but you know that's the whole theme is fall the house looks like it's you know it's been through some time so we're doing more cutting of the fabric giving it a more distressed look and we're still trying to see if we want it at this point or do we want to you know moving around checking it okay now we're getting the numbers and no, we're not going to put the stickers on. We're going to write some stuff down first. So we're writing, how do we actively seek God righteousness in our lives? Number one, make sure we get the sticker. The number one down, we're going to put a little border outline, you know, to give it a little pop. First one is obey Christ's commands. Now we're looking around for number two. And we're going to do the same thing as number one. Outlined it, make it pop. And it says, show his standards of truth. Okay, then we're going to get number three. Same thing. Border it make it give it you know give it a pop we did it three times so and the third one is avoid ungodly practices so we got one two three and you know we're looking good we got it going on and we're writing at this point we are writing a quote those who truly trust God will hunger and thirst for a deeper relationship with him and for his favorite and supernatural activities in their lives. And by the quote is by a fire Bible. So now we are getting our stamp. We're dating the date of this page and we're looking for some stuff i don't know quite sure what we're looking for but we're gonna get there we're gonna figure it out all right and we have these little stickers that we're putting on back of our card um we're putting them on each corner and it looks like we're putting two more make sure it's the oh okay these are basically you know stickers type glue things so we can put on a page um pressing it down hunger thirst matthew 5 6 a little bit more distress coloring all right you know now i gotta angle it because you know i didn't really like exactly how it was but now 
it's looking real good it's looking the way that we want it to look um and we're going to add our clip to the top with the same type of close to the same type of fabric we had um you know we got to add our little washi and here go the page beautiful page y'all and um i hope you enjoyed the video please watch the other um hubby dubs and have a great day bye